Hello guys, Boris here, and today I decided to create a step-by-step -step instruction video where I will be showing you how I prepare and make my animated conflict maps. The first step is to create a document in Google Docs you need add all important events in the conflict, timeline of the conflict, maps about the conflict, relevant comments and screenshots, as well as links to sources you are using. Here is my research document for the Uganda video that I did recently, with all info I have used for this video grouped in one place. Now, let's explore the second step, looking for sources. First, as well as the easiest step, is to analyze as many Wikipedia articles as you can about the conflict. The second step here is to click on the sources bibliography or references of Wikipedia page where you will be met with articles as well as a detailed list of books. Use Google search to look for the sources you found in the sections you looked for. Now, you may be asking, Boris, how do I get access to books and research documents about the conflict? Don't I have to pay money? Search, search, search. Search for the books on the Internet Archive. It has PDFs of some books and lends you some like in a library. SciHub and ZyLibrary unpay us a lot of scientific articles, although they are blocked in some countries. You can use Google Books snippets or try searching the name of the document you wish to find and add word PDF or download to the search in order to find it. If the country you are mapping has a non-English main language, searching for sources in foreign language may be more useful. You can translate it with Google or use OCR extension for scans. Now, the step two is to create a map. Start with creating a Google My Maps map with all locations mentioned in your timeline. You can group them by time or which armed group they refer to if you want to. Here I added a video showing how to add a village to a map. Searching for some villages may be tricky, as not all are included in Google Maps. Try using alternative services such as OpenStreetMaps, Maplandia, or simply Google Search. Try changing a few letters, like for example I instead of J. In the case of a place with the same name appearing multiple times, think about what location makes the most sense considering the context. Next, and the most important step, creating a blank map for the video. I use GIMP, a free editing software. Step 1. Add a screenshot of the area that will be included in the video. Step 2. Draw over a blank map with all borders, lakes, rivers, roads that you need. Here I am showing a time-lapse of drawing over a map. And here is a final result. You can add more mini maps for places requiring more care, like cities or outside areas. Here is a screen of blank map from my other video, Caprivi Conflict, with mini map for particularly relevant city as well as neighboring countries. Overlay the screen of your Google Maps map on top of the blank map and add a dot for every location and labels for each one of them. By doing this, you can add important cities or towns to the map. Here is a time lapse of marking cities on a blank map. And here is the final result. Step 3. Creating slides. Depending on the dimensions of the video, I add all relevant information on the right. I use my research documents timeline for creating slides for every relevant info in the world. Here is a video showing all important layers in the GIMP file of my slides. From the top is a layer with cities, date, text on the info box, as well as description of the events. I am showing an example of creating a slide for a particular event.
In case of an unknown month, I simply add question marks. I name my slides in the following convention. Year, month, date, dot PNG, so that ca they can be sorted alphabetically from earliest to latest. In case of a mistake that needs to be corrected on multiple slides, I use a custom website that I created to automatically edit them, which will be linked below. In this video, I show how I can quickly change the color of a country in multiple slides by uploading one image with transparency, which is automatically added on top of multiple files, which then can be downloaded. Step 4. Making a video. I use a free movie maker software to create my videos. However, there are multiple programs that you can use to edit your videos. I upload all slides, sync length of a slide to around 2.1 seconds, depending on number of slides, add a free music, for example, Creative Commons music, and produce MP4 file, which I then upload on YouTube. Here is a video showing the simplified process of creating a video. Thank you for watching this video, this was Boris and see you later.